Hello there. I believe you are blessed wherever you are. I would love to say blessed week in advance, regardless of the color of the skin, tribe, or nation. All right, there is something that uh, I want to talk about, what uh, God showed me. I don't want to talk about prophets uh, most of the time, but I talk when there is something. All right, uh, because uh, they would think that the world is, the gospel is divided. Why, not, why this is not divided? Our behavior divides the gospel. I want to talk to the prophecy in Zim. Those youngsters who are up now. God is saying to me in the morning, if I say what I will say, you will know I'm to, whom I'm talking about. You have collected dead money, dead money. You have dragged my way and my gospel in vain. You have fulfilled your heart, evil heart desires using my Bible. You are not going to die peacefully. You are not going to last forever if you don't repent. That's what God said to me. He is not going to die, but he will die in a shame. So God said, I warn those Zim young prophets who are top now, especially who are doing the politics and the gospel, that if you are having a link with him, you start praying for your lives. Something that will happen, God say, it will happen for people to open their eyes and for people to know right or wrong. So I'm saying you pray, watch and see. If they, I know, if he sees my prophecy, you'll know I'm talking to him. One way or the other, God say your ending shall be very bitter than the beginning. And your fame that you are crying for, you will die in a shame. So I'm saying you watch and pray, those who are in Zim, I said, I listed three things. You have collected debt money. You have used my gospel for your evil benefits. You have dragged my, my, my gospel and my word in vain. Because of that, God is saying, you will do what you will do. So I'm saying, you see my video, make sure that they see it. But what I love, God knows it. when he's talking, he's talking to you. And the person, if he sees this video, he'll know, really, that it's him. It's either you repent, you kneel down and pray, or you redeem yourself. Or that fame shall turn to a shame very soon. I'm saying to you, those who are in Zim, those who are following them, watch and pray. And I know if he sees this, you'll be knowing I'm talking to him. I'm saying be blessed wherever you are. Remember Jesus loves you. So do I. May God bless you. Thank you.